Three years ago, Among Us was an unknown game built by a small team of three developers. Last year, it was the most widely played video game of all time. This is every indie developer's dream, but how did Among Us make it a reality? Among Us was one of our co-founders' ideas based on a combination of a mafia-like game he played as a kid called Assassin and the movie The Thing. Originally in Among Us, the ship was always in crisis while the crewmates attempted to hold it together. Imposters could do tasks wrong to hinder players, but we found this was too stressful and didn't leave much time for detective work and informed meeting conversations. So after a lot of reworking, we ended up with the current system and released the game for mobile in 2018, local mode only. We got enough feedback from people who wanted to play but couldn't get together that we added online support in September, where it also launched on PC. Among Us was made by three people at that time, Forrest, Marcus, and Amy. By January 2020, we considered the game feature complete with three maps and fully online multiplayer gameplay. We were prepared to move on to our next game, until the summer of 2020 happened very unexpectedly. To really understand Among Us' story, we have to take a step back and examine each chapter. After its initial release, the game had its first spike of players in South Korea in late 2018. Aided by passionate Korean YouTubers and streamers, Among Us spiked to almost 10,000 daily active users in December of 2018, and Korean players were over half of Among Us' user base. In the summer of 2019, the game was picked up by some influential Brazilian YouTubers, and their videos of Among Us accumulated over 10 million views. By the end of the summer, Among Us had reached over 1 million daily active users, with players in Brazil and Korea as a majority of their user base. The game then cooled off at the beginning of 2020, dropping to around half of its peak users. This is around when the team was concerned the development of a sequel, Among Us 2. However, the game was subsequently featured on Steam on August 5th, 2020, and through word of mouth, managed to climb back up to over a million daily active users. This would begin Among Us' meteoric rise. In just nine days, Among Us' player base would more than double, and a few weeks later, Among Us' daily active users would break eight digits. By the end of September, Among Us was a worldwide phenomenon with more players than any other game on the planet. So how did Among Us' team feel about their sudden success? Honestly, the answer we've given and will continue to give is just utter shock and gratefulness. Among Us wasn't built to handle such large amounts of people, and its initial launch never hinted that it'd blow up two years later. That almost never happens in game development, especially for indies, and we weren't prepared. One day, it was just like, oh, it looks like a few more people are picking up the game, cool, and then suddenly it became half a billion players. So while it was exciting and amazing, it was also a shock to the system. It still doesn't really register in our minds how many people play this game. But to be honest, there was a stressful side to it too. More eyes on a game that wasn't meant to handle all of this basically felt like building a plane while flying it, as someone once described it. Except the plane is overbooked, and you never expected the plane to take off, and the navigation is broken, and you're understaffed, and everyone's demanding different in-flight meals, but you only had time to prepare pretzels, and now different airports are asking you to land in them, and they wanted this by yesterday. Basically, it's been pretty overwhelming. That being said though, what kept us going has also been the major support we've gotten from our players and community at large. We can't tell you how many times seeing someone's fan art, animations, streams, mods, or messages, and how much it helped them make friends has pushed us through a lot of tough, dark times. We're grateful for our community, and we want to do good for them. So as you can see, with sudden success also came sudden problems. Among Us' servers were having trouble keeping up with a massive amount of new players. There are frequent issues with players being unable to join lobbies or getting disconnected entirely from games. In came Unity. The multiplayer team worked closely with Intersloth to deploy and stabilize their online multiplayer, even while millions of players around the world were creating billions of lobbies. The Among Us team also ran to ad quality issues. Mobile versions of the game would show brief advertisements to help pay for server and development costs, but it was hard to fully control what was being shown to their players. Unity Ads was able to step in and improve user experience while giving the team more granular insight of what ads were shown in the game. So the multiplayer and operate solutions teams at Unity have honestly been fantastic partners to work with. They understand games, they're really easy to talk to, and more importantly, they've always put our small dev team's needs above all else. We've had a whole bunch of support in various areas, even outside of what you'd normally expect from a company like Unity. 
When we were first introduced to the team, they helped us solve our most pressing problems and stabilize among us during what was a really intense time period. But they've also done things like introduced us to our backend partner that we've really enjoyed working with and which has gone really well. Longer term, they've helped us work through multiple issues around running and operating a huge live game. Unity have continued to provide us with insights around the game and helped us build out a future for Among Us. The people we work with are personable, smart, and no drama. I would definitely continue working with them and choose them for future projects. With the game's core system stabilized, Among Us also had to focus on the future. Using Uni Analytics and working with Uni's publisher operations team, Among Us was able to do deep dives into how players were playing their game so that they could best plan for what to do next. Because the team had very little internal resources to work on analytics, Unity partnered directly with Intersloth to give the team a strategic view of their data by providing data visualization, analysis, and tailored gameplay recommendations. There is so much planned for Among Us, and working with Unity is one of them future roles, more maps, cosmetics, gameplay modes, and whatever else we can dream up. The community is what keeps us going, and we couldn't be more grateful for the support. All we want to do is make sure we do right for our players and everyone that's supported us. So, thank you!